Hi everyone, this is Manish. Today I'm going to discuss about what is Microsoft Intune. Let's treat it like the introduction to Intune, how to start, what exactly Intune is, what are the features and what we can do with this. There might be so many doubt for the beginners, so I will try to clarify all, the, all those things. Okay, so let's first talk about what is Intune. Uh, Intune is completely a cloud-based solution that which through which you can manage the devices and the application at a very top level you can think about it in tune to to do perform two activities that is mdm mobile device management and second is mobile application management that is called mam so when i am talking about the mdm that is means that i am specifically talking about managing the device uh, you can configure the policies you can deploy applications i will be talking more in detail about a device what we can do and the second is about the mobile application management. Through MAM, you can manage the applications, you can protect the organization data at the application level, you are specifying some kind of settings to the application and also you can uh, wipe the uh, corporate data if the device is, uh, if you are using the bring your own device scenario where only the selective wipe uh, is going to be used which will just wipe the data related to the corporate. Okay, at very high level, if we are talking about the Microsoft Intune, just to understand the Intune, uh, this is the architect diagram of Intune. As we can see that Intune is part of the Azure. So for the identity management, for the identities, Microsoft Intune relies on the Azure. So what I mean to say is that once you configure the Intune, you are actually getting a part of you are configuring the Azure Active Directory. So the users and devices, what we use as an identity in Azure Active Directory will be used for the Microsoft Intune. As Microsoft Intune is completely 100% cloud-based solutions, whatever the users and devices, the users and groups, what you create on the Azure portal, which will be cloud-based uh, IDs only. Now, when your Intune is uh, fully configured, you can access it directly through the web console on the left hand side on the image you can see that through the web console you can access the microsoft intune to manage the device to deploy the applications configuration application settings and so many things and the, at the same time microsoft intune provides us the flexibility to deploy the few applications your win32 based application line of business applications or, and also SaaS based application, completely software as a service based application that is Office 365. It's pretty much convenient to deploy the applications. And Microsoft Intune doesn't come alone as a standalone product. You can you can integrate it with your with your existing environment. We are going to discuss later uh, on this that how it works when you have your on premises environment. Okay, so now let's discuss about that what Intune can do. So there are multiple things which Intune can do. The very first thing is for Intune to work in an efficient manner, the very first thing is we need to enroll the device. Once the device is enrolled, now the communication will start and you will be able to completely take control of the device through the portal. You can enforce the policies, you can uh, implement the uh, settings to protect the data for the applications. You are you can deploy applications, packages, patches, you can deploy feature updates as well. From you can uh, deploy the patches, not only the security critical patches, you can uh, apply the feature update from Windows 10, uh, one specific version to, sec to another version. You can also update to the latest Windows 11 as well. Okay, and you, apart from that, you can uh, collect the inventory of the device, you can remote wipe the device. Operating system deployment can also happen through the Intune uh, using Autopilot. Autopilot is a specific feature of the Intune through which you can deploy the operating system. So it's a completely a different kind of way of doing it. But at a high level, this is what we can do. Device compliance policy along with the conditional access works absolutely fine using the Intune. and. Uh, Based upon the, the uh, your security requirement, you can simply uh, control the devices as you like. Okay, so let's talk about where Intune fits in. If you have an environment, uh, for example, it's a completely a new new uh, environment, uh, new company. 
Intune can be configured like a 100% cloud based solution. So it would be very much easy to configure and uh, it will work absolutely fine without any issues. But for big organizations, there is a second case also that when you have Active Directory on premises infrastructure, you might be having SCCM. So Intune can fit in that scenario as well. And that, that scenario is called co-management. So the meaning of co-management means that your devices can be co-managed with Intune and Configuration Manager. Uh, co-management, let's not confuse that, uh, that Intune and Configuration Manager both will be co-managing the device at the same time. Uh, there is a work workload feature on co-management which I will be talking in other video. But at very high level, I can talk about that what exactly the workload is. In SSM, the configuration manager, once your co-management is enabled, you can see that uh, there are various workloads around 7 to 8 for starting with compliance policies, device configuration, endpoint protection, windows update policies. So you can say you can see there is a slider. If you move it to the left, all devices will be controlled by the configuration manager. If you move, move to extreme right, it will be all devices in your environment will be controlled by the Intune. But now we have a feature that you can move the slider at the center that is called Pilot Intune through which the devices part of specific collection will be controlled by Intune for that specific uh, workload and apart from that everything else will be taken care by the configuration manager. So this is the uh, good approach when we have a mixed environment and we are the companies are not fully ready for uh, the Intune they can move slow and steadily by changing each and every workload. Okay, whenever we are talking about the Microsoft Intune, uh, the topic never completes if we are not talking about the Microsoft Endpoint Manager. You might have heard a lot about the Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So now let's discuss what exactly is Microsoft Endpoint Manager. At a very high level, Microsoft Endpoint Manager is not one product, it's a combination of multiple products and Intune is one of the product of Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So let's see the list of products under Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So Microsoft Intune, Configuration Manager, Desktop Analytics, Autopilot, Azure Active Directory and Endpoint Manager Admin Center. All these components are part of Microsoft Endpoint Manager. This is a vision by the Microsoft that initially when the Intune was launched, I think in 2014 and 15, Right, so companies were not ready, the organizations were not ready to move to the Intune as a whole. So Microsoft came up with the approach that let's combine everything in a single umbrella and that is called Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So now the Configuration Manager and Intune both are part of the Microsoft Endpoint Manager and the term Configuration Manager which we used to call it SCCM, you might be aware of that, the name has been changed, now it is called Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager. So let's not confuse, Microsoft has, is trying to make the thing simple that everything is part of Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Now the third component is Desktop Analytics. Uh, this is going to be depreciated very soon. I, I read on the Microsoft article, uh, Microsoft Technic, and it is getting replaced by the Endpoint Analytics. So the purpose of both Desktop Analytics and Endpoint Analytics are pretty much same that it is, it is used for checking the Windows 10 readiness whether you can upgrade from one specific version to another version, is there application compatibility issues or not. It, it can also check the readiness of your Windows 11. So it helps the organization that whether your devices are ready to be upgraded to the next level or not. Windows Autopilot, which is one of the features of the Intune for the operating system deployment, is a completely modern way of deploying the operating system. And Azure Active Directory, for the identity management, Intune relies on the Azure Active Directory. Your Intune is configured, means Azure Active Directory is already there. And finally, Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Endpoint Manager Admin Center is a portal. Uh, the, uh, the, the complete URL is end, endpoint.microsoft.com. On this portal, you can go and access your all your devices, whether the devices are part of SCCM, reporting to SCCM, Take, getting controlled by the SSM or Intune, you will be able to see every device in admin center if the device is enrolled. Okay, so how to start with Intune? If you are pretty much new, you don't have any direction that how to start with Intune. 
I can provide you the approach. Okay, we are going to first talk about the in, in that the requirement. The requirement is very simple. To use Intune, you need to have a valid subscription with a valid license. So that license comes in the form of various various multiple licensing subscriptions are there. So EMS E3, EMS E5, EMS stands for Microsoft Enterprise Mobility and Security. So E3 and E5, just think about that EMS E5 is a top up to E3, like extra cheese kind of thing. Just kidding. So E3 comes with the Azure AD Premium P1 access, E5 comes with P2 access. So there are some slight differences, but EMS E3 is also going to be perfectly fine. So EMS is completely the Intune license, means once you have this license, you can enroll the device and manage the device. Now the second th thing is called the Microsoft 365 E3 and E5. The good thing about the 3G, Microsoft 365 E3 or E5 license is, it is a combination of your EMS E3 license, E5 license, means Intune is included, it's a com plus Office 365 is included and also Windows 10 license is included. So it's a subscription based model. It's like a complete package deal where everything will be included. So if you already have in your organization, you are already using Microsoft 365, then you already have the Intune license, no need to be worried about that. And the third kind of uh, subscription is the device only subscription. Though it looks quite uh, cheap and uh, you know, uh, the cost is not too much, but it has very limited uh, functionality. The features are the Azure AD premium feature and other things are dynamic groups and other things are missing. So this is not the one which organization used to prefer. So Microsoft 365 E3 E5 is the most popular one which organizations are using. But of course you can go with EMS E3 E5 for the testing purpose. For the, you, can, you can go with the trial version which I am going to discuss in the next video. Okay, so there are two most important URLs for the uh, MEM. The first is the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Portal Admin Center, that is endpoint.microsoft.com, and the second is Azure Portal. So, at both the portals, if you log in, there will be Azure Portal is specifically focused upon the Azure, and the that Endpoint Manager Portal is more focused upon the Intune part. There might be few things which will be common at both places. For example, users and groups will be there at both, uh, both the level. Earlier, uh, Intune portal was part of Azure portal only, but when the more, the more Microsoft was investing on Intune, they decided that let let make it uh, Intune a part of a separate portal. So now we have endpoint.microsoft.com as a separate portal. Thank you so much, and I hope you liked the video. The initial introduction would really going to help you out understanding the Intune concept and in my upcoming videos I'm going to tell you how to configure your Intune subscription, the license required and how to do the enroll. There will be it's a complete big series I'm going to cover up. Thank you so much. Bye.